Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm really excited for today's video because I get to try some new makeup. So they're all new launches from Too Faced that I placed an order for and I'm gonna be trying them on my face today. Um, this is the first time I've applied makeup on camera so please bear with me, I'll try my best. Hopefully it'll turn out well. So we may as well just get into it. Um, I have left off the things on my face that I've got to try. So I haven't got any blusher, lip products or eye, um, like eyeshadow or I've got some lashes to try as well. So I thought we'd start with eyeshadow. I have two palettes. So I'm thinking I'm going to try one on this eye and one on this eye. I know it's going to make the look a bit weird, but I want to try them both. So the first one I've got is this one. Kitty likes to scratch. Um, smells like tequila sunrise apparently. So I'll open the box. It comes in a little box like this and the palette has the same design on it. This is the first time I'm opening it as well. I waited to film. This is what it looks like. So some gorgeous neutral shades in there. Obviously I saw the colours online. This is why I picked these two because I think they're more up my street. So yeah, some gorgeous neutrals and a few darker shades there too. Yeah, so the shade names are on the box rather than in the palette. So I will read the shade out, but I'll also point to the one I'm using. Um, I've got some brushes here too. So at the minute, I've just got some concealer on my eyelid set with some powder. So I don't particularly need to do that again. So I'll start with this shade here, which I believe is called backstage pass i think so this was a matte shade to be fair they're mostly they're quite shimmery oh see i am getting a little bit of um kickback i don't know if you can really see that on camera so i'm going to tap my brush off and then just apply that into the crease so obviously i am just doing the one eye i was about to Switch and put it on the eye, but obviously I'm just doing the one. Yeah, that's going on quite nicely, I think. It's quite a nice, like, neutral shade. You could just leave it at that for, like, an everyday kind of look. Yeah, that's gone on quite nicely. I mean, Too Faced eyeshadows tend to be really good quality anyway. Um, So, obviously, I'm expecting good things. Just a few shades in each palette, so they're perfect for travelling with. I really like these little palettes. Um, I'm gonna take the shade. Um, it's this one, the slightly darker one next to it. It has got some glitter in there. I think that one's called Mia, Mi, Mi Wow, Mi Wow. Sorry. Um, I wonder if the glitter is gonna kind of show on the eye or not. I'm just I'm adding it to the edge to kind of define that area a little bit more. Kind of doing what I did with the other one. I mean, I didn't change brush. It's my worst habit. When I do my eyes, I just use the same brush. This is the Morphe S27 brush. Yeah. I think that looks quite nice. Um, you can't see the glitter um, from the shade, but you probably would if you packed it on as opposed to kind of blended it out. I'm sure blending it out is getting rid of the glitter anyway. And then I'm gonna take this littler brush, which is the Morphe S12, and take this black shade called Power Ballad. Tap that off. I just want a little bit, just right on the edge. Whoa, that's pigmented. That's added a lot on, even though I tapped it off. Because these eyeshadows are going on so nicely, they're really easy to blend out. Like just then I probably added slightly too much of the black shade, but it's gone all right. Oh, I'm going to do it on the other eye. Oh. Yeah. Then I'm going to just go back in with the other brush with a tiny bit of that first shade I used and just add it just to... Blend that back out, really. I mean, I am not a professional. This is a little bit messy, but I'm just learning how the shades work, making a basic look, really. 
sorry for every day you know by the time i've got my eyeliner on and my lashes and then i'm going to use this bronzy shimmer shade which i believe is called oh i'm actually sure ah this one's called me wow the second shade i used was called hairband the shade name's been on the box a little bit confusing but i guess it doesn't really matter what the shades are actually called so i'm just going to use my finger for this i find that it works best the shimmers to use your finger yeah i think that looks quite nice that's quite a nice palette for like an everyday kind of thing obviously i just i used this bottom row the top row would give you a different look which would probably be nice too like i really like this little palette definitely one i would take away with me the packaging's so cute so yeah that's a win i really like that one and then the other palette i picked is this one that's my jam um smells like berry jam oh i didn't smell the other one Mm, it doesn't really smell like tequila sunrise if i'm honest yeah so that's my jam again comes in a little box and the palette looks like the same as the box and these are the shades so a few more purples in there again a couple of neutral shades that you can use for every day but a little bit more like out there a bit more bold yeah so let's do this palette on this eye so i'm gonna go in with this pale pink shade which is called spread it you get a little bit of kickback from this too so i'm just gonna buff that kind of all over the lid but concentrating again in the crease that's going on so nice considering how like pale of a shade that is you can still see it i really do like that oh by the way the brush is the spectrum b06 brush Yeah, so it's just a light wash of pink. And then, hmm, I might use, yeah, so I'm going to use this one, which is like a reddish toned uh, brown shade. That's called Jam on It. I'm going to take the Morphe M M139 brush and I'm going to just get a tiny amount of that on the brush. I'm just going to define that edge. I don't know how I feel about this brush. I mean, it's probably just me being rubbish, applying product. You can see those pink tones from the that shade coming out a little bit, which is quite nice. So it doesn't look super pink in the pan. I'm just dragging it a little bit further up towards this more towards the center of my eye I'm gonna take a bigger brush i'm taking the spectrum b03 brush and i'm just patting that and blending it a little bit more it's just a clean brush just to blend them together a little bit more I really like that that's so nice like i like everyday shades that are a little bit brighter give me a little bit more but are still really wearable i'm gonna use this pink glittery shade um, which is called jam session yeah this one's like a sparkly glittery kind of shade so i'm wondering how this one will work compared to the shimmer shade from the last palette i'm gonna take this one on my finger too i mean they probably all work a bit better with shimmer shades. I mean, they probably work better with kind of Fix Plus or Satin Spray or maybe even like a glitter glue, especially for this pink one. But I don't tend to do that on a daily basis. Kind of just put them on. That's quite nice. It's a nice shade, but it I kind of have to build it up quite a lot. It's coming off nice but it, it's not kind of giving the same effect as it does in the pan like this is it in the pan looks super pretty and then on my eye it's still pretty but it's not as intense as i would have kind of liked it to be 
And I'm just going to put on a little bit more of that darker shade I used. So obviously, I know I need to clean up these edges, which I'll do before I put the lashes on. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to take this pale pink shade again on this brush that had nothing on and just... Whack it on the edge. Just to buff it all together nicely. Make a seamless look. I say seamless, that's the intention. So yeah, I really like both those palettes. Obviously, I'm looking a bit crazy now with two different eye looks on, but it's a testing video. These two, I should probably hold them like this. Um Kitty likes to scratch and that's my jam. Both really nice. The quality of them is lovely. The only shade I wasn't mad on was that pink one jam session from the first uh, from the second palette other than that the perfect like they're going to be so nice to travel with so small sturdy in that tin packaging that Too Faced usually use yeah I really like them so I might have a look at the other ones and I know they're launching a pink one called Lover I couldn't see that on the website that I ordered these ones from uh, maybe it's just in America at the minute I don't know I guess we'll find out, but I really want that one when it launches. It's such nice pink colours. Right, so the next thing I'm going to try is these Too Faced lashes. These ones are in the style Drama Queen. So they're quite full, but they're not like overly full. So I'm going to go and pop those on off camera just because it's such a faff putting them on, as we all know. And then I'll be right back uh, to show you what they look like. So I'm back. I've popped my lashes on. This is what they look like. I also put on a little bit of eyeliner just so the lashes looked a little bit better and some slight little bit of mascara underneath and some mascara on my bottom lashes. I like them. They're more dramatic on than I thought they would be. They're really long. I did have to trim the edge off because they're long like that way as well. So I just trimmed the edge off. But I really like them. I think they look so nice. They went on easily. The band was really thin. I didn't um, it didn't come with glue, I don't think. I used the Duo Lash Glue, which I always use. Yeah, I really like them. I definitely recommend them. I need, I'll need. i list all the prices down below because I haven't got them to hand. I think they were about like 14, 16 pounds, something like that. Quite like average for a reusable lash, I think. Maybe a little bit expensive, I'm not sure. Anyway, the next product I'm going to try out is this one. It's the Peach Bloom Lip and Cheek Tint. So I'm going to use it on my cheeks because I have something else for my lips. I picked the shade Grape Pop Glow. If I can get in the box, that would be perfect. Um, so yeah, I picked Grape Pop Glow, which is kind of a darker shade. They did have lighter ones. I'm hoping picking a darker shade is going to pay off. I mean, I hope it's not going to be too dark for me. I just find like normally the tints are quite sheer, so I wanted something that would show oh look at the texture it's like a jelly i thought it was going to be more liquidy than that let me pop it on my hand so that's what it looks like yeah so it is quite sheer so i'm glad i got this shade you can still see it it's not sticky but it's a little bit like greasy almost i'm hoping it's going to be all right on the cheeks so i think what i'm going to do is pop some on my finger so I'm not using that directly onto my cheek. And then just use my finger to pop it on. Obviously, I'm not leaving it like that. <laughs> I've got this Morphe sponge, so I'm going to blend it out with that. It smells really nice. It smells so fruity. I'm really glad you can see it. And then let me... As you can see, it's quite shiny. You might want to set it with kind of an, a powder blush or I don't know. I don't know. Has that disrupted my makeup underneath? Not really. I don't know. I'm really on the fence. I'm going to pop a little bit more on that side because I feel like it's not got as much. I really like the colour because I don't really have anything like this. Like, I think it really goes well with this eye look. Obviously, this one not quite as much, but 
Could have really blend that out. I haven't used this sponge before. I've wet it. It's the Morphe one. I actually think it's quite good. It feels nice and soft. Yeah, I think that's quite cute. I think you've got to work with it. I think you've got to blend it out quite a lot. Well, this shade anyway. Obviously, I did go for a darker shade. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. Should we try it on the lips? I'll try it on the lips. I've got something else, but I can take it off. Um, Again, I'm going to use my finger. Mm, tastes a bit funny. Yeah, so it definitely works nice on the lips too. I really like that on the lips. For like a nice everyday wash of colour. Obviously, it's quite purpley. It might not be for everyone, but there are some other shades. I think there's like a peach one, which I bet would be so nice. I just didn't want to buy too many when, you know, I didn't know if I'd like it. But I think that's really nice. Like, I think that's going to grow on me, like... That looks pretty on the cheeks, right? I really like that. Funny how one minute I'm like, hmm, I don't know. Next minute I'm like, oh my God, I really like that. I'm just going to remove this and then I will pop back and try the other lip product. Okay, so I'm back. I have removed that. I don't know if it's stained slightly, even though I didn't have it on for long. But I've took it off. And then the last product I have purchased and I'm going to try is this one. It is the Peach Bloom, so it's in the same range as the blush. This one is the Lip Balm. So that was the Lip and Cheek Tint, and this is the Lip Balm. So I got mine in Raspberry Flush, which again was one of the darker shades, but I did want to hopefully be able to kind of see the colour on the lips. Yes, yeah, so this is the packaging, that's really cute. It looks like this. So it's got the, pink, the pink around the edge and then the white heart in the middle. So I guess I'm just going to put it directly on for the lips. It's going to ruin the heart, but... It's quite firm. Hmm, it feels nice and balmy. Oh, that's a really pretty colour. Oh, I really like that. You could even use like a lip liner to kind of make that a little bit more of like an actual like lip look. But yeah, that's really pretty. So that's this one. I'm gonna put this one on my cheeks. So they're really nice. I love that. So I feel like that was a really successful video, actually. I really liked everything I tried. I'm glad I purchased them. I'll definitely get use out of them all. I would really recommend it. My cheeks feel a little bit sticky. I do want to set that like either with a blush or just a translucent powder. It's slightly sticky. It's nothing terrible, but I do want to set it. Anyway, yeah, that was a side note. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried any of these, if you want to try any what you think of them and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe um, to watch my other videos if you did enjoy it. Thank you so much, see ya, bye!